جی السلام علیکم اوبر ٹاپک از میتھڈ نمبر تھری ٹو سالو دا کاٹ رائٹ ایک بائی یوزنگ کمپلیٹنگ اسکوائر میتھڈ سو دس از دا جنرل فارمیٹ آف دا کمپلیٹنگ اسکوائر میتھڈ لائک وین ایور آئی ایم ہیونگ دا کاٹ رائٹ ایک اکویژن دس فارمیٹ از دا میتھ completed square format before we know that the general format of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero now this is the general format of the quadratic equation and this is the general format of the quadratic equation in completed square So whenever in the exams we are having the questions that uh, uh, solve the quadratic equation by completing square method, uh, our basic target is we have to transform our equation into this format. Got it? And uh, I will tell you step by step that how we can transform our expression into this format. But remember this thing, this is the general format of the quadratic equation. You have to memorize this uh, format. Most of the time it is not given uh, in the exam. And uh, one more thing, the A and B, the value of A and B is not the same as uh, we did in the quadratic equation. This A and this A are not equal. And this B and this B are again not equal. They are different. So. Now I'll come to the question and I will show you how we can transform the quadratic equation, uh, quadratic expression, I'm sorry, quadrat this is an expression, how we can transform the quadratic expression into completed square format. So I will go step by step, so uh, just focused, okay. Now the step number one, it's already written here, write the brackets. So which brackets I have to write? I know that I have to change this expression into this format. So I just have to write the bracket according to the format I am having. I am having square also with the bracket. And I need to check that which variable I am using in the question. Here I know that my variable is x. So I just wrote x here. Got it? Now step number two, we need to find the value of a, got it? We need to find the value of a and we have to write it because uh, the next step is I need to find the value of a with this sign. So first I'll check this sign. In the question, the midterm is very important related to the uh, value of a. So uh, I'm having sign of the midterm, it's positive. So I need to write positive here. ये वाला जो साइन होगा हमारे पास प्लस ये डायरेक्टली ये जो हमारे पास जो भी क्वेश्चन होगा उसका जो मिड टर्म का साइन होगा दैट इज विद द विद द एक्स जो भी हमारे पास मिड टर्म होगी जिसका वेरिएबल एक्स होगा वाई होगा उसका साइन हम लोग लिखेंगे यहाँ पे ठीक है तो साइन की गेम ख़त्म हो गई मैं एक और एग्जाम्पल दे देता हूँ आपको फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम हैविंग माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस एट ना हेयर दिस इज माई स्टेप नंबर टू स्टेप नंबर वन सॉरी ना द स्टेप नंबर टू इज आई नीड टू राइट दिस साइन मैंने यहाँ माइनस क्यों लिखा बिकॉज माई मिड टर्म साइन इज नेगेटिव समटाइम्स यू आर हैविंग द क्वेश्चन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस एट इज इक्वल्स टू फोर एक्स Sometimes the equation is like this. So you have to transform this equation into the general format of the quadratic. 4x यहाँ पे add हो रहा है. It will come here with the subtraction sign. Got it? I first transform the equation into a quadratic. Now I'll go with the completing square thing. I have to put the bracket first with the variable and which sign I will put here? Definitely negative. Got it? So this is my step number two. Step number two, kabi pehla portion humne kiya. So I should erase this thing so that we can. Okay. So now till here, my concepts are clear that which sign I have to put. Now what about a? What I need to write here? 
what will be the, my, my value of a so to find the value of a it's like very simple you just need the coefficient of the middle term it is 6 so you have to write 6 on the on your rough work it's 6 and you have to divide it by 2 now you get the value 3 so my value of a is 3 got it again I am repeating you just need the value the coefficient of the middle term that is 6 and you have to divide it by 2 every time to find the value of a so I got 3 here I'll give you one more example if I'm having x square plus 4x plus 2 equals to 0 so here my step number 1 is uh, this step number 2 part 1 is this step number 2 part 2 is <clears throat> to find the value of 4 to find the value of a sorry so how can I find the value of a I know that the coefficient of the middle term is 4 so I need to divide 4 with 2 and I got the value 2 here so I just need to find uh, to write 2 here got it I'll give you one more example if there is 18 X plus 90 equals to 0 now here step number 1 is this step number 2 I need to put the addition sign and then I need uh, the coefficient of the middle term that is 18 I have to divide it by 2 I got 9 so I need to write 9 this will be my a got it I hope so it's clear now step number 2 is all done so okay so step number 2 is already done now step number 3 expand the brackets in rough work which brackets I need to expand that is these brackets now I write it like more clear here from step number one and step number two I got this uh, thing it's x plus three uh, whole to the power two so now I must expand it in my rough work so it's like x plus three into x plus three So it's like x into x plus 3 and plus 3 into x plus 3. You'll get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. And it's like x squared plus 6x plus 9. So you expanded the bracket in the rough work. This is your step number 3. Got it? It's like very simple. Step number one, step number two, it's already clear. Step number three is just you need to expand the thing which you got from step number one and step number two. Now, where is my cursor? Yeah, okay. So, step number three is already done. Now, step number four, subtract the square number. Which square number? So, you expanded that thing with definitely with a reason. So, when you expanded the thing you will get uh, like three terms here this is term number one term number two and term number three now this term is like very important the last one which is most of the time a square number most of the time means like every time it's a square number nine is a square number definitely it's a square of three so it's a square number if I took under root 9 I'll get the value 3 got it so 9 is a square number now whatever value I got here I need to subtract this value here I need to subtract the value here got it so I expanded my brackets and I got this answer and uh, definitely I expanded with a reason and the reason is this number to find this number so I need to subtract that number every time from the from this bracket which I already uh, found from step number one and step number two so it's negative nine now step number five 
find the value of B. So to find the value of B, this is the last step. Whatever the constant is written here with any sign, got it? Whatever the constant you got in the question with any sign, you have to just write it here. This is your last step. So now I will like write it in the simplified form. It's negative 9 plus 4 is positive 5. So my question is solved. Uh, I changed actually x squared plus 6x plus 14. I changed my quadratic expression into completed square format which is x plus 3 whole square plus 5. And uh, sometimes in IGCSE questions, they will ask you to find the value of a and b also. First change the expression into completed square format and then you have to find the value of a and b. So here the value of a is 3 and the value of b is 5. This is the answer. But generally we are talking uh, till here you must know the skill that how to transform the quadratic expression into completed square thing. I hope the things are clear. We'll shift to the next question. Okay, now I'm going to solve in a fast way. My step number one is put the brackets with this square and I need to write the variable which is involved in the question. Step number two, part one, is to put the sign. And I know that there's a positive sign in between, so I need to write plus. Now, step number two, to find the value of A. How can I find the value of A? It's like 8 over 2, and I got 4. So, I need to write 4 here. That's it. So, x plus 4 whole square. Now I need to expand this bracket, x plus 4 whole square. Yeah, it is solved. So x square plus 8x plus 16. Now I told you that this number is very important. I have to subtract it from my expression which I made already. I need to subtract 16. Got it? Now I need to find the value of b. To find the value of b, whatever I have in my expression in my question uh, the last term the constant term I need to just write it down so x plus 4 whole square negative 15 so this is my answer got it so actually I transform my quadratic equation into completed square format and this is my answer I hope it's clear okay now this is the next question uh, this is a bit different. Okay, G. Uh, step number one is exactly the same. It's x. Sorry, I'm just writing x. Yeah. I have to write the brackets with the square and x. Step number two. What is in the middle? The sign is negative, so I have to put negative. Now, step number two. To find the value of a. Now, here, 13 is not an even number. It is an odd number. So... I need to write 13 over 2 straight away. Got it? So it's x negative 13 over 2 whole square. Here I'm not having 12, I'm not having any even number, I'm not having 14, 16, I'm having an odd number. So don't confuse yourself that if you got the odd number, just write the odd number divided by 2. Do not convert it into decimals even, just write the fraction thing. Okay, now step number three is to expand the bracket. So I'm expanding it, it's x negative. Okay, so I expanded this, I got 169 over four. Now, step number three is I need to subtract that number, this one. So I'm writing it again, x negative 13 over two, whole square minus 169 over 4 got it now the last step number 5 is 
I need to find the value of B so whatever it's written with the constant in the question I need to just write it down straight away now here I need to use calculator here it's yeah I got the answer here it's negative 165 over 4 so I just use calculator to solve this so this is my completed square format and this is my answer straight away so in this question uh, one of the different thing was the midterm coefficient uh, the midterm coefficient was like uh, it's in, uh, in the, it's an odd number not the even number so don't confuse yourself your steps are like uh, same it's not different uh, you just need to find the value of a and uh, the steps are straight away the same thing you just need to divide it by 2 so here I cannot get a whole number if I divide an odd number divided by 2 so I just uh, wrote the same thing it's 13 over 2 and then I uh, just uh, use the same uh, procedure to solve all of the question like I did before with the even uh, just the different thing is uh, like I'm having the fractions thing but don't confuse yourself this is the answer okay <clears throat> now this question is uh, a bit different from the previous one the difference is only uh, uh, if you can observe it's like uh, the coefficient of x square is not equals to 1 so whenever we are having the question where the coefficient of x square is not equals to 1 uh, there is only one step extra uh, the rest of the steps are same which we did before so uh, I have to make uh, the coefficient of x square as 1 so how can I make the coefficient of x square as 1 I will take common whatever the coefficient of x square I am having I need to take common that coefficient so I'm taking 2 as common and I'm having the square bracket here so the first term will change into x square the second term now if I took 2 common there's 3 inside now and negative 7 is not the multiple of 2 so I just need to divide it by 2 that's it got it so and uh, if some of the students uh, if some of you uh, uh, sorry some of you are uh, like uh, stuck here that how to take common how I uh, which things I need to write inside the bracket so I'll show you one other thing if uh, 2 is common so just divide each and every term which is inside by 2 so this 2 will cancel this 2 is called x square and this 2 3x and negative 7 over 2 so this is one of the uh, step you can uh, just do if you are confused in taking common okay gee so I'm having 2x squared plus 3x negative 7 over 2 now I'll go to the step number 2 I have to put the brackets with the square and I need to write the variable which is x now I have to put the sign which is plus and here I need to put the value of a which is 3 over 2 now before we were like expanding the brackets here our next step was to expand the bracket and uh, we do we uh, like did all of the procedures and uh, we usually do all of the procedures and uh, then we'll get some of the values that x square plus blah blah x then plus the constant uh, the constant term. so what we do it's like uh, uh, we just subtract that constant number here I show you that just subtract that constant term whatever you're having here uh, and uh, you have to subtract it here in the question and then you have to just take down the value of B now here do not take this uh, the value of B here 7 condition like and you have to uh, take down 7 over 2 because my now my question is here my now my steps are this one not the question one so uh, the shortcut was you just have to take the square root of a here uh, my a is 3 over 2 so I need to s take the square of a the square of a is 3 over 2 whole square 
so I just need to subtract that value so 3 over 2 whole square that's it the shortcut is again I am re repeating whatever value of a I am having I need to square it and I just need to subtract that value now the whole steps which we did here there is no need to do we just need to uh, take the square of a and we just need to subtract that value now further we'll get x plus 3 over 2 whole square negative 9 over 4 negative 7 over 2 so uh, by using calculator if you solve negative these two uh, fractions you will get negative uh, 23 I think so negative 23 over 7 to 14 plus 9 yeah negative 23 over 4 so this will be my answer the only difference is I'm having a common here before I solve the question uh, but I was not having any common because the coefficient of x square was 1 but here the coefficient of x square is not equal to 1 so whatever the coefficient I'm having I need to take common and uh, uh, we just learn about the shortcut you just have to take the square of a and you just have to subtract the value of uh, the square of a uh, in in this step you uh, over step number three which we uh, uh, were doing before like we have to expand the bracket and we have to find a constant term and then we have to subtract that constant term do not do this thing now you uh, know the shortcut you just uh, have to apply that shortcut that's it okay the next question is the same one here again I am not having the value of uh, the coefficient of x square as 1 it is negative 1 so I need positive 1 so what I have to do I have to take minus 1 common so it's x square plus 6x negative 9 uh, negative 7 uh, negative 1 will just uh, change the sign inside so it's negative 1 I need to put the brackets first with the square I know that my variable is x plus the value of a is 6 divided by 2 which is 3 and I have to apply the shortcut so I need to subtract the square of 3 and the square of 3 is 9 so 9 minus 7 minus 9 minus 7 so x negative 1 x plus 3 whole square negative 16 so this is my answer straight away okay sometimes uh, we are having the quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation because we are having x square as a term uh, but there is no constant term so uh, we can just imagine that we are having plus zero here but otherwise this plus zero has no worth uh, just for your ease so it's plus zero so I'll go with the same procedure I have to express this expression in uh, complete completed square format so it's x I'll put the bracket first with the squared, then the variable, then plus. What is the value of a? 3, definitely, because 6 over 2 is 3, minus the square of 3, that is 9. And plus 0, which is having no worth. Isko cancel kar bhi do, to koi masla nahi hai. So this is my answer. x plus 3 whole square minus 9. This is my answer, straight away. Okay now the things are changed i'm having quadratic equation instead of quadratic expression i'm having x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals to zero now this equals will make the expression into equation now whenever i am having the equation my question will change i need to solve now solve means i need to find the values of x so the examiner uh, limits us to just use the method which is completing square so uh, now I'll show you that how uh, by using the method of completing square how can I solve the quadratic equation now over left hand side uh, all of the steps will remain same I'll change this thing in uh, completing square format so it's I have to put the bracket first with the square and then the variable plus the value of a is 3 because 6 divided by 2 is 3 then I have to subtract the square of 3 that is 9 minus 7 and then I have to write is equals to 0 so it's x plus 3 whole square negative 16 equals to 0 and x plus 3 whole square now 16 here it is uh, subtracting it will go to the right hand side with a positive sign plus 16 now I have to take 
square root on both sides to get rid of the square and if I am taking the square root do not forget to write plus minus this 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 step is like very important so this square will cancel the square root so it's x plus 3 is equals to plus minus under root 16 is 4 you all know this thing now my uh, step will split into two things it's one is x plus 3 is equals to 4 and the other is x plus 3 is equals to negative 4 so it's x is equals to 4 negative 3 and x is equals to 1 x is equals to negative 4 negative 3 and x is equals to negative 7 so I got two values of x one is 1 and the second one is minus 7 so this is my answer so here this is the procedure that how to use the completing square method to find to solve the quadratic equation it's like very simple you just have to use the same procedure which we did with the quadratic expression all of the steps are same just uh, the uh, difference is, is equals to zero Th this is definitely a equation so my this constant term usually these term this will shift to the right hand side and then we will solve we'll go uh, we'll do one more question to make all of the things clear now to solve the quadratic equation by completing square method so <clears throat> i just have to write the brackets the variable plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 so my well the value of a is 1 whole square negative 1 square is 1 minus 8 equals to 0 so it's x plus 1 whole square negative 9 equals to 0 so it's x plus 1 whole square is equals to 9 got it now I have to take the square root and whenever I am taking the square root don't forget to write plus minus so it's square will cancel the square root so it's x plus 1 holds x plus 1 is equals to plus minus 3 now here my uh, I'll split the steps it's like uh, x plus 1 equals to 3 x minus 1 equals to negative 3 x is equals to 3 negative 1 x is equals to 2 and here I'm having negative 3 plus 1 x is equals to negative 2 so I'm having two answers here uh, one is uh, 2 and the second one is negative 2 got it so I solve the quadratic equation by using completing square method yeah this one is a bit uh, different uh, he said that solve the following quadratic equation by completing square method give your answer to two decimal places now it means that my answer will come in the decimal format and I just need to round off my answer to two decimal place. So for that you need uh, definitely a calculator. Uh, the first step is I need to take common because the coefficient of x square is not equals to 1. So here I took common for negative 2x plus 1 by 4 equals to 0. Now. Uh, you just need to shift this 4 to the right hand side so 4 is multiplying here in actual it will go to the right hand side with the division sign means 0 divided by 4 0 divided by 4 is actually 0 so now I need to change my left hand side in completed square format it's x negative 1 whole square negative 1 plus 1 by 4 is equals to 0 so it's x negative 1 whole square negative 3 by 2 is equals to 0 you just need to write this thing in your calculator and it will give you the answer so here I'm having x negative 1 whole square equals to 3 by 2 now I need to take the square root on both sides I'm sorry it's like Versus it up. Come again. Never mind. This square will cancel the square root. So it's x negative 1 equals to plus minus under root 3 by 2. So it will split up into 2, 3 by 2. And x negative 1 is equals to minus under root 3 by 2. Got it? 
so it's x is equals to under root 3 by 2 plus 1 and x is equals to negative under root 3 by 2 plus 1 by using calculator uh, you will get the answer and you have to limit it to a uh, two decimal place so I'm getting the answer 2.2247 it means that my answer will be uh, 2.2247 so I need to just round it off to 2.22 that's it this is my answer because my third digit is 4 so I just need to uh, limit it to two decimal places and uh, I'll get this as an answer uh, and this one is uh, let me just negative so I'm getting minus 0 0.2247 the same thing uh, just minus 0 0.2247 so I need to just round it out to two decimal places 0 0.22 that's it so this is my answer.